It was broken. He could make it to the bricks, but he can't see anything. Such a late boost coming in, but finally he's got the information. Olof Meister, one player taken down. 20 seconds now, and they still haven't pushed the A site. This is going to be very, very tight. They cannot afford a single mistake here. If a single shot goes awry, that's a problem. Good trade out from Skadoodle, but it might be too little, too late. That's a good no scope there from Skadoodle, but he still needs to get the bot down. Oh my god, he might be able to do it. Skadoodle is fast, but it's not fast enough. Chances here for FaZe. Guardian is watching the cross to short. That's information they know. Say, like, oh, Nico goes down straight away. That was maybe the only chance, but Guardian comes back in. Oh, Guardian, he gets two. There's still more to go, though. Palmai must plant the bomb. The peaks come in, but Guardian will not stop. One more to go, and Guardian gets them all. For FaZe. Scar is up close here with the MP9. He could be in for quite the money-making mission. He's going to just grind them all down with the MP9. Money in the bank for Skadoodle. It's good to see Skadoodle not making the mistake of actually peering over it in that instance. Guardian was waiting for it. But now it's on phase as Palmer has not really offered anything. Oh, wow! To prevent the TTs pushing sewers as FaZe take control of the map towards the positions around B. Guardian going quite forward for the Don't peak. He wants that slight angle, that sliver. And if it is shown, oh, oh, he gets it through the wood. Since the absolute beginning of his team, Harrigan leaving Astralis. Tarek as well, he's got a lot to prove and he's trying to do so. Relentless aggression, doesn't matter what the situation. Oh, that's dirty, but it is from Street 2K. And Tarek finishes things off. He's popping off. I mean, this round, but they have a great economy at the very least. Automatic trying and desperation. Click there. Olaf Meister, what on earth are you doing? Going straight through the smoke. That is bravery. But is it too bold? Will it cost them? Maybe it will. Automatic will have that opportunity and he will make it count. One more, well, two more players to go is. There's one more left here, besides Automatic, to make plays. Rush, where on earth is he? FaZe do not know currently. And Rush has time. Automatic is taking all the attention away. Oh, here it goes. Rush able to find Rain. Now they know where the last player is. Guardian has to hit the shots here as he turns the corner. The grenades are oh! in! And that's Noodle has to fight his way out with a CZ. He's going to be able to do it, it seems, but still more damage to be done. Picks up the orb there. Draws it, tries to find a shot. Still very difficult to make it work. The tag's in though, as Kadoodle tries to hold the position. But now he is the only man that stands against Rain. And Rain has the truck to play with. But 20 seconds to go for the plant. He knows he can go for the other oh side. No! Oh no! He sinks it! You do wonder if FaZe may go for a pot flash play, not expecting rifles to be in play. Anything could happen in the coming seconds. Very big moment. To be looking to use the enemy surprise. There we go. Three. Cloud Nine have taken too much damage. Face Clan are well equipped to go for this now. Automatic putting a bear by Graffiti, but he won't make anything. Rain's the one doing the spraying. And now Dante Skadoodle. He sees the directory. He needs to escape down towards short. He knows where these players were. He saw where that grenade came from. His teammates can tell him as well. He has 30 HP. He's got no grenades. He's holding a tight angle. Guardian is so red. Not expecting it. Skadoodle, there's one more to find. Skadoodle! There doesn't really seem to be any, any way out of this situation, except Nico going massive with this M4. That's the only way out for FaZe. This looks like it is going to be very, very painful indeed. The creep is there, the crab walk. Nico with two, it was three. That's absolutely absurd. That's tremendous from Nico. One. But we've seen Skadoodle already do it before. He's looking to do it again. Goes for the play there, makes his way forwards. There's the first player, the full hold. No defuse kit, has to come off the bomb. Skadoodle has no idea. Now he knows, but maybe it's too late. Oh, so walk with the needle comes in. That was almost a catastrophe, but Skadoodle turns it around. What's been important for FaZe is that they haven't been losing players in the top mid position. So when Cloud9 have been charging the A site, they've just had the usual positions. And uh, 28 seconds, 27 seconds still. Five on five push of the A site. Everybody here for FaZe Clan who needs to be. There's the first frag, they're forced to go in. The time is really a big issue. The spray can't be found there by Rain. And he gets one. Olaf Meister looking to defend, trade it out. Trace left, right, and center. Guardian, can he find the player in pit? This is massive. No, Skadoodle gets it done. And that's so huge. They can now go for the plant. Five seconds to go. Oh, wow. Great return there from Tarek as Nico stands the last man in the 1v2 clutch. And now it's about the slow retake here from FaZe Clan. 
Are they going to play against the clock uh, for FaZe Clan? Because there's 18 seconds, the bomb goes down again. It's got to be collected, but there are so many CTs running around. Someone's got to collect the bomb and plant it. It's being collected. Tarek takes one in the face. Carrigan gets punctured as well. Skadoodle must hold the line. It could be two. One to the left, one to the right. Both if the timing's right. Rain's still alive. In the red, he's dead. Round number seven for Cloud9. Puncture his chest. Retake effort here from Cloud9. It's going to be a tough one. So much to work against. Guardian in position with an AWP. That in of itself is scary enough, but Carrigan and Olofmeister, despite being lower, still alive. And it's very difficult for Cloud9 to know just how strong they are. Not sure if that nades in the fall. Oh, it's going to find Olofmeister. Bounces off the ceiling, off the skybox. Begging someone to peek from the balcony position. And now two players being spotted towards the arch area, but automatic is hunting. Nico getting tagged, a flying man seven. Are you serious, Tarek? Meister may be offering a fake towards the B bomb site. Meanwhile, the push comes in towards A. Skadoodle in the smoke. Skadoodle taken down. Tarek's got to go huge here. He's got a crossfire with Rush. We've got Guardian in a short position and he's exposed, but he goes down. Rush still alive. Four versus three. To spotting one player, maybe two towards the arch position. Now Olaf Meister's on short, but it's a flash and he's taken down. Tarek is not done with this major yet. Here it is, Tarek! They stay alive for one more round! They've got flashes of their own. They need to keep these players blind. They've got a smoke. They can close the distance, but Guardian has a sniper rifle and they're playing for the major. This is one of the strongest ways to play a post plant. A sniper rifle indeed. Guardian, he whiffs the first shot. They start to march forwards. FaZe know this is their chance. They could steal it away from Cloud9. The flick shot missed Guardian in the most pivotal moment. It has to be Carrigan. It has to be the leader. But it's Rush all the way. And Cloud9 again. He's the only man on Banana. Rush with an off angle, looking towards the uh, apt position. The Molotov comes in, but so does the rotation. Olof Meister though, has been taken out towards the B site. But Alt Automatic's going towards say nothing else is going on he's got to go back Stewie's on his own but look at the time look at the time there's seven seconds of blood upon they're trying to build pyramids but there's no more play Stewie's oh! running around we go going to overtime as FaZe set up their approach how does Stewie read it it's a very hard position to deal with looking for the correct angles to play with never he needed results now there's one Stewie can he do it can he do it no stop by Carrigan FaZe stay in this the bomb. They have no idea if the bomb is exposed. Okay, it's being collected by Tarek. Two versus four. All the FaZe clan are here. And there won't be a crazy complexity. Very games rotation. It will be planted on the B bomb site. Automatic takes Tarek Tar uh, down. There is a boost. Automatic spots it. He's got two HP. So desperate. Tarek, Tarek does not know where to look. They've got no more grenades, but there are flashes on the CT side. Two players moving through construction. Automatic in the pool. Rain taken out. Two on two now. And it's Tarek. He's got higher health, but it's not perfect. Down he goes. It's Guardian. He's the only man standing between Cloud9 and the Major. It's going to be a double peak. There's the first one. Oh! We're going to overtime number two. Forward play towards A. I don't know if Olaf Meister's heard him. Oh, the barrel's been spotted. And there's another fast pick from Automatic. The trade frag is there. Rush is here to take Rain down. There's got to be a rotation. Tarek, oh! three big through the smoke, but it's two. Guardian, buy one, get one free. And that keeps Ray Faith Clan in this round. And there's a quick flash from Rush there to slow things down. Time is starting to run low here for FaZe Clan. They have to move forward. Skadoodle repositioning after the first frag. It's both now from Quad here for FaZe. Can Cloud9 close it? Skadoodle gets one. Skadoodle can't get the third. It's Nico with 12 health. Is there time though? Is there time? I'm not sure if there is. It's going to be a close one. And he's done it. FaZe Clan take the lead in overtime number two. He was the only man with a diffuse kit. And he was the only man to survive. Anybody, if he gets taken down, the round is theirs. Pops up. And Rush is knocked down. Whack-a-mole there for Olofmeister, but Guardian still in position. They managed to get there fast enough. The bomb has to be planted, and Cloud9 out of this advantage. Tarek, brave enough to just hold the bomb plant. He knows Guardian's in construction, trying to back off, trying to reposition. Sees him, tags him, but doesn't frag him. Holding the angle once again, but does he go high, does he go low? It is a dance, and now they concede multiple angles. Tarek going, takes all of Meister down. Guardian on 11 HP, Rain peaks, and he gets the angle now. Superior angle, is there a defuse for the CT side? They're not on it just yet. They're spamming the grenades, they're touching the bomb. And now goes Rain, and now the bomb is trying to defuse it again, but no! Guardian gets taken down. Skadoodle back against the site, no support. In the corner with the AWP, well, do they realize this? I think he's been spotted now. He does have a smoke throw to play with. He can delay them. If he can occupy their attention long enough, his teammates can make the play. Just by staying there, he's a threat! Oh my goodness, Skadoodle does it with automatic!
my god! He threw it again, he's been in this position before to win phase around a very important, very crucial one. Can he deny Cloud9? We saw it from this position before. He cannot miss a single shot. Guardian waits patiently as Cloud9 sets the push up. Oh! Oh, this happens! They made it work! Cloud9 are your E-League Major Champions!